Oh, that, there it is. <laughs> Hello, this is Jeff, N8RWS. I'm located in Southwest Michigan, and tonight I'm going to do a little bit of video on my new toy, which is right here. This is my VK3 AMP, and that is the really cool idea that is here from W. B8 RNV. At any rate, what we're going to be doing is just kind of playing around and testing the uh, the new amplifier. Um, I bought it from VK3 AMP, and Ander did a great job putting a bunch of cool stuff together. I did the assembly here in the state of Michigan, um, but without all the good work that Ander did, man, there's no way I could have built something like this beautiful beautiful amp so I'll show you the rest of the station um, starting with the radio which is is hiding under here under here is an Anon 100 which you probably can't really see but it's it's hiding in there it's an Anon 100 that's what we're going to be using as a transceiver and I do have a bunch of meters um, I got a bird you can see a bird um, 43 up there I got an RF power monitor um, and then I also have an oscilloscope over here that I'm doing a trapezoid on. And right now it should be set up um, to give us a decent, a decent um, 1500 watt um, carrier. Let's go ahead and take a peek here a minute. We'll go ahead and hit, I'm hitting it with 50 watts. And right there's 1500 on the bird, 1557, and you can see the trapezoid. Uh, line. So there's that. Um, you can hear the fan kicking in. At 1500 watts, I'm right up there hitting the you know, hitting the power supply. You know, about 60 amps. And so you could hear the fan kick in. That was the the fan and the power supply. But as far as the temperature, I'm running 24C. Really, really happy with this amplifier. So for part of this demonstration, I'm going to go on the air and I'm going to actually sit back and talk to some of my buddies that are into the ESSB stuff here in the, in the U.S. I talk to them all the time. As far as the audio that you're going to be hearing, it's coming out of uh, what I've got is that, that um, red thing is a, a Focusrite 6i6 USB interface. And I've got a a rocket subwoofer there or not a subwoofer that's a rocket six studio monitor and this here is another rocket six next to that beautiful alpha and this is a prasana subwoofer so that's what you'll be hearing as we tinker and make an audio or make some some audio come out so let's go away from the dummy, dummy load back to the group here on the ESSB frequency. And we're going to have Terra 3 500 send it to the Adam 2. And that chassis is the amplifier that I had is probably a good 20, 25 years old. I can't. I mean, I've had a lot of stuff in here over the years in my bench, so I can't tell you that, that maybe once or twice I've seen the 3 500 with a chimney on it. Well, Rick, look at the cans in the back behind the tubes. I think that's an older amp. Well, that's it's more than 25 years old. It is probably a national hit. It would be my guess. Yeah, as soon as I saw that, that my immediate thought was, that's a national. Or how old would that be? Uh, 70s? Yeah, 70, what, two, three, somewhere in there. So we're talking 50 years old. You know, that's old. Yeah, yeah, it is, damn it. Yeah, yeah, it is, damn it. Yeah, damn it. I'll get to say that even more on Monday. Yeah, how old are you? Uh, Monday, I'll be 59. I know you got me by, what, a year? Two years? Uh, I'm 61. Okay, you got me by a couple of years. Yeah, Michael, what are you, 47? Right. Well, 77. Ah, 77. 
Said it's been getting better since I was 35, right? Uh, hey, you guys. Want me to break the ice on 3-500s by putting part of the fan below the chassis and, and two-thirds of the fan above the chassis, and the bottom third keeping the pins cool, the top two-thirds keeping the tube cool, and then eliminating the glass chimney? I think so. I think you're correct on that, yes. Uh, hey, Greg, how come my fluorescent lights are blinking now whenever you talk? No, yes, you're talking about Rick does that. I, I, I'm just QRP, man. Uh, no, you just got, you just turned baby boomer on the high tap. No, 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 no. I'm running P, just, I'm, I'm the lowest power guy on here. <laughs> I don't think so. You're on the same crap you are, Greg, so don't, come on, now calm down. I, I tell you what, I'm happy. The uh, latency is starting to affect me <laughs> enough that I need to stop, so. <laughs> I will catch you everybody in the morning if everybody's around, and uh, we'll see you all later. It's been fun tonight. Take care of in my nature. All righty, Rick, have a good one. It's sitting in this chair long enough. And go somewhere else. I'll catch you guys later as well. Have a good one. It was fun tonight. WB9 DNZ. Yeah, catch you later, Greg Orr. See you, Rick. See you, Greg. See you, Rick. See you, Greg. And I'm going to follow him out the door here, too, and go see how Mommy's doing downstairs. We'll catch you guys later in the morning, maybe, and you night in. See you, John. Got a hell of a signal here tonight. Yeah, yeah, you're rocking and rolling, John. Take care. Have a good one. Hey, yeah, see you later. And eight R W S. Yeah, Steve. Steve, the front panel is uh, what I just came up with. Uh, uh, this tonight, here, Jeff. Oh, okay. Oh, you you sent me some like your CAD of what the front panel is going to look like. Yeah. Okay, good deal. I'll check it out. Yeah, you got to be getting pretty excited. How? What sort of time frame um, do you have you set? You know, for trying to, to get everything up and running. Well, I just ordered the cabinet for it on Friday, and that should be here Tuesday. And what I'm going to do is to at least put together the side panels, and then be able to just start to to put in the heat sink and all the other boards and everything and just <laughs> measure up everything and then correct all my CAD drawings. Ah, golly. But how, like, you can do all the machining yourself as far as cutting the panel out and stuff? Pretty much so. Uh, my um, brother-in-law has a milling uh, 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 machine but I can do virtually everything else here. I, I have two lathes and a drill press. Ah, good deal. Wow, that was what I was just lost on, but good deal. Um, yeah, are you, are you on the, that Facebook page that under set up um, VK3AMP products? Um, I'm not sure I'm on that one yet, uh, but I, I am on... Facebook and Paxani and I video conference back and forth every day. Oh, okay. I'll look at sending you a link. I, I think I can do that. And uh, once you're a customer, you know, he lets you, you in there. And actually, I'm shooting video right now of a demonstration of the amp I'm going to put on there a little bit later. So, you know, as long as you don't mind, I might have your audio and <laughs> some of the other guys, you know, just uh, to show how this thing's working, which I'm delighted with it. And it sounds like you're pretty excited, too, to... To, to make your version, which you know you're going to do a lot more than I did. Under did almost everything for me, but you're uh, you're going to be doing your own cabinet and stuff like that, right? Oh well, yeah, get cabinet, uh, uh, control circuitry, uh, um, a broom bridge to keep an eye on the forward and reverse power, provide my own pure signal output, the whole works. Oh yeah, that's good. So you'll be like, what do you think time time frame wise? I know it's hard to. I I told everyone it would be two weeks, you know, from when I got the goodies from under till when I'd have it up and running. That was pretty close to that. That was just a wild ass guess, but um, you know, you you've got a lot of work to do. So you're probably a few months out, aren't you? I'd say you know, well, I have to go out to Cheyenne here yeah, at the end of March, 
and I should have things pretty well together before I go out there. But I'm going to take my time on it. Uh, it, doesn't, oh, it doesn't do any big rush. I am on the air with this one. Yeah, yeah, and this one looks great. And right now you are running a, your own, you're running a solid stadium. What is it, a one pallet, right? Yeah, one pallet uh, peaking at just under a, uh, a kilowatt. Yeah, I mean, it's razor sharp, super, super clean, so... Good deal, Michael. Okay, I'm going to boogie too and uh, get going here and I might do some, uh, chase some DX. I, I found a couple of VK stations on 20 meters, or was it 20? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was 20 meters um, around this time last night. So I might go try to chase somebody down. And I know Andres got his amp uh, going together, that, that side by side is what I call it. I don't know if that's the proper term, but he's, uh, he's building that for himself. And it sure would be cool to have a QSO with him one of these days once he gets it up and running. Oh, absolutely. Just keep me in mind for that because um, with some tweaking on the end, the antenna that I have out there, you, you kind of slid it down, it's on seven, 17 meters now, uh, I can get it back to 20 meters, I ought to be able to do a, a pretty good job to him. Yeah, yeah, I was hearing the guy um, really, really good, his name is Britt, I can't remember, his VK3... Uh, WAS or something like that and uh, he was rocketing here and I've got my my beam I think still pointing <laughs> towards there and uh, I got a Mosley up there but I hardly ever use the thing but I, I want to give it a shot one of these days okay Michael I'm gonna boogie take care good talking to you everyone have a good night this is N8 RWS yeah I think I'll go down to here too guys uh, have a good one I'll catch everybody in the morning W9 AM. Yeah, I think I double with uh, Mike. Hey, Mike, see Jeff. Have a great evening, and I'll catch you guys in the morning for a little bit. I need SDR. Okay, take care, Rick. Have a good one. See you, Rick. We'll catch you in the morning. So there you have it. And there's my idea going off again, thanks to WB8. RMV, who's also building his own solid state amp using VK3 AMP pieces and parts. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're thinking about buying an amp, man, I tell you what, <laughs> solid state amp, I, I, I just can't see how you go wrong. Um, you know, buying anything from Wander, he's done a great job, and I mean, his support is unbelievable. Um, you know, to help neophytes like me get it up and running. So have fun. This is N8RWS, Jeff in Southwest Michigan.